just got the safety wall divider kit for the JK Flamingo, same as the Swans, the wall divider kit for the kids, we'll open it up and see what's in there. So this is a fitting kit for it and some instructions there for our bed end. One page of instructions. Remove existing bed rails if one is fitted, usually four or five screws. Um, mine's got four screws, so we're just going to remove the existing safety wall for the bed end. Four Phillips head screws. One, two, three, four screws holding that in. Jacob I've used self-tapping metal screws into timber. Next step is to screw these two rope tracks, they call them. They're just a bit of alley extrusion, a bit of sail track. And the front wall has a bit of a rope track, as they call it, just a sail track. It'll fit into that. And these will fit into the front where the existing, or the old, original bed rail was. When fitting in, we're going to have the sail track to the outside. Had a look at it. You want the sail track as close to the front as you can. There are a few bolts in here. I'm going to show them these bolts. See? You just locate that as far as the front as you can get it without interfering with them. Before you screw these down, you're going to run this sail track into the alley. Gotta make sure you do it the right side. So have the Velcro to the inside of the bed. I don't know if you can see that there. 
the Velcro for the centre dividing wall. That's the top. The rope tracks on the bottom. That's one. Ready. The existing bolts are here and here where these ones are. I just push that till I touch that bolt. And we'll fix that down there. And don't over crank them, they're only little timber screws. Next step is to take off these little cam buckle clips or whatever you want to call them, they call them black fittings on the instructions and feed them onto an, our new wall so that works like that There is a pole still to go through here as well. We'll put that in now. Close up. Pole is in. Yeah, got the center pole in. There isn't much adjustment for it. A little bit, pretty well. Goes up to your hockey stick. Now that front wall's already in, you lay the centre dividing wall on the bed. Make sure the Velcro is to the front to take onto the front wall. Alright, got my strap in place. Probably easier to take the mattress out, but I wanted to have a look how it was going to go. You keep that centre in line with your hockey stick. And then you will be putting one of these at the front and the back. I'm gonna screw the front one while it's in position and then I'll go and do the back one. I'm gonna to have to lift the mattress up. Put one in there. I'm gonna drop this mattress down and um, drag it forward and do the other side. So I'm just gonna wing this one. I'm just gonna eyeball it down to there from the center of the hockey stick. I've just drag the mattress forward just enough so I can work in there. Cool. Then put your hockey stick through. Flash. 
The quality of the mesh is actually really good. I'm pretty happy with it. And it is easy, the instructions are just, they're a little bit out of order. You sort of got to think about it a little bit, but it's not hard. It's your bed. Do the vapor up in the middle here. 